What is going on guys? This is actually something I'm going to be doing. Instead of the Doom videos daily, I'm going to start maybe doing some Pokemon videos because I did get a request from somebody to do uh, Pokemon videos again. And plus, I kind of want to maybe get into a um, into a, a kind of like a, a Pokemon League almost. Um, like the UCL or the GBA or something like that. Just maybe not one as competitive as one of those only because I don't have a 3DS with a capture card. We need to be, you know, one where I can do showdown kind of stuff, but anyway, um, I currently have three teams right now, um, this week, and maybe even next week, I'm only going to be using one, uh, I might use one of these for next week, um, I might, I might go VGC or just go with my really fat defensive team, but I'm going to be using my offensive team, um, it's Mega Low Punny, Adamant, 2 for the 2 attack and speed, power punch, quick attack, return, high jump kick, pretty, uh, Pretty much designed to come in late game and take stuff out. I'm actually changing a power punch um, for next week's recordings. Um, I'm going to be doing seven battles today, which will be uploaded throughout the week, uh, starting tomorrow because currently it's Saturday right now. Um, but I'm going, to, I'm going to be uploading one battle throughout throughout each day of the week. Um, and then I might actually end up changing power up punch for something else because I because I've been bringing make a low point to kind of clean up at the end. And I haven't really been able to set up power up punches with it, so it's something that's really good, but maybe not so good for my team or my play style. Um, my next thing is a life orb uh, lander Asterian with earthquake knockoff U turn stealth rocks. It's uh, jolly two for the two attack and speed. This is a very offensive team, hence the name offensive. And then I have Life Orb Thunderous with um, Volt Switch, Hidden Power Ice, T-Bolt, and then Thunder Wave with the Prankster. Um, Thunder Wave is very good for opposing Scarfers and um, stuff like that that kind of outspeed me. There's only one one Scarfer that I really have an issue with um, that I really have an issue with now, even after having the Thunder Wave, which I'm trying to address with my last Pokemon. Even though if it's Scarf, it does outspeed, but we'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, this is just a, um, a timid 2 for the 2, 2 for the 2, uh, Thunderous. And then I have Scarf Ape with Iron Fist, Close Combat, Mach Punch, Flare Blitz, U-Turn, uh, 2 for the 2, Attack and Speed, Adamant. Now, I have Mach Punch on a Scarf Ape for two reasons. Number one, I can bluff that maybe I'm Choice Banded, um, depending on if I can get a kill with the Mach Punch or not. And then there's, there are some Scarfers that do outspeed Ape, you know, like, especially because I'm, I'm Adamant, you know. I've seen Scarf Weavile's and stuff like that, and, you know, stuff that maybe you're setting up Dragon Dances, I can come into Mach Punch. So, there, there is reason for Mach Punch. Um, I'm, I have debated on changing out Mach Punch for, um, uh, Gunk Shot, but my, my Jirachi does, uh, handle Fairy types pretty well, so I'm not too worried about it. But I have Choice Banded Jirachi with Iron Head, Heart Stamp, Ice Punch, and U-Turn. Uh, Jolly, Max, Max Attack, Max Speed. Um, just basically so designed to come in and just beat the crap out of stuff. The Iron Head and Hard Stamp work really well with my Thunderous and Thunder Wave for, you know, for just the more annoying threats. Just kind of, uh, you know, just to kind of just whittle them down. I mean, it's a Jirachi, it's Serene Grace, we all know what it does. And finally, Mew. Um, originally when I first made this team, this was a special, this was a specially defensive Mew, my only defensive mod on the team. Which is why it was carrying Defog. I've actually decided to change up to a especially offensive choice scarf Mew with no stab. But it's actually got Earth Power and Energy Ball, which are two type of attacks I've really been lacking. It's really been coming through as a problem on this team. Because I need a grass type attack and, and a ground type attack. The ground type attack is specifically for Raikou, because Raikou is so fast it does do it does give me problems. And if it's Scarf Raikou, I can work around it. If it's E-Belt Raikou, it's a huge problem for my team. And that's what I was talking about earlier with uh, Thunderous. And because Scarf 8 does not take out Raikou with a close combat, even even Adamant. So um, I am... No, so I put uh, Scarf Mew with Earth Power to get rid of Raikou. And then I have uh, Volt Switch for switching around. You can see everything on this team has either Volt Switch or U-Turn aside from the Mega Low Pony, which again just kind of just comes in a, in late game and and uh, uh, cleans up. And then I have Defog on my Choice Scarf Mew purely because um, I do a lot of switching because this is a Volt Turn team, and if Rocks are up or Spikes are up, it can really hurt my team. 
So I know that it's a Scarf Mon, but Deepak is too essential for me not to have. And I don't see anywhere else to put it, except for maybe on Thunders over Thunderbolt, but I would prefer to have the Thunderbolt over the Defog right now. Maybe that's something I can test out uh, between weeks. So, anyway, time for the first battle, and this team looks... This team looks kind of fat. I don't know, it might be Choice Scarf, Heatran, probably Sandrush, Banded, um, uh... This thing can't think of its of its name. Kind of wish I had Grass Knot on, on my Mew instead of uh, Energy Ball. I have Energy Ball for Grass Knot because of uh, of Rotom Wash. It does not take much from a uh, Grass Knot. But thinking thing I might he's either gonna leave with Hippo or with Garchomp. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave with uh, Thunderous. He's actually gonna leave with Titar. That's not a very good thing. It might actually be a Sand Force Hippo. I didn't even think about that. Um, I'm gonna Volt Switch. If he switches into Hippo I, or or Garchomp, I can just uh, HP Ice next turn. <clears throat> I'm not expecting T-Tar to be too fast, especially if it's a Mega. Get a crit. The crit doesn't really matter. Um, he's probably gonna Rock Slide um, or Stone Edge. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into Landorus for the Intimidate. As he uh, he actually goes for Flimber, it's a special special Mega Titar. Okay, um, I'm gonna set up my rocks, expecting him to switch out. The rocks aren't too important for this, but it can, it can help with that Togekiss. And he actually goes for a Dark Pulse. That does a good chunk of damage. Okay. Um, being that I was a crit, I don't think I can survive another one. But I don't really have anything else I want. To, I want to come in on this thing. But I would rather keep the Intimidate just in case for that Garchomp or the extra drill. Um, I think I think I'm gonna U-turn into Ape because oh, it, it's a crit too. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna U-turn into Ape, expecting another um, another uh, Dark Pulse. Which yeah, he does go for another Dark Pulse. I take that really well because you know I'm I'm I resist it. And now I'm just gonna U-turn, expecting him to either switch or die. I miss the ah oh, Sandvale. Oh. Sandvale, that's a pain in the ass. All right, I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna U-turn again. I hate Sandvale. Um. I don't expect him to, to Earthquake. Three thirty-three. He's jolly. Um, this is actually quite a problem. I don't expect him to Earthquake. Uh, jolly. I don't want to do a damage calc while playing. Um. So I expect him to do something that can hit. Anything else? Cause he knows him. Cause he knew I was gonna U-turn. <sighs> what do I wanna go into? A little pony can deal with Heatran. I think Rachi is actually my least useful thing here. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna go into Rachi. Rachi can't really do too much. He, he is gonna Earthquake. Okay, that's fine. I'm not too. I'm not that upset about that. I can just go into Thunderous. Now Thunderous can HP Ice and take this thing out, or you can switch out into something else to take the HP Ice. No, that's a destroyed Garchomp. My Thunderous is max speed timid. It always outspeeds Garchomp unless it's a uh, Scarf Chomp, and if it was Scarf, he can't do anything anyway. He's going to bring in the Hippo, so he has two Sand Setters. That's fine. Um, Hippo is not very specially bulky, so I'm expecting him to switch out. Knowing that I have the HP Ice. But what was what, he going to switch to? Maybe the Excadrill. I switch first. Okay, I'm going to switch into Low Pony. No, uh, yeah, into Low Pony. Expecting him to switch on to Excadrill. No, he's going to Rock Slide. Okay. Um, this is actually an opportunity where I can start setting up Power Punches. Because... Um, aside from the Excadrill, I, I can outspeed everything on his team. 
So I can, I can, set, I can get off a power of punch and then get off a big uh, high jump kick. It's not. It probably won't kill. He's gonna protect. Oh, okay, that's that sucks. Okay, he read me really well with that one. Um, I'm gonna go into Mew and go for the energy ball. So I would rather keep the the thunderous healthy if I can, because thunderous is very effective in this match. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that does a decent chunk. I can take him out at this point. He's probably going to switch to preserve this thing since it's a, it's a second sand setter. I don't know what he would go into. Maybe Togekiss? So I'm going to predict that 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 switch into Togekiss and go out into Thunderous. And he's going to protect. Okay. Now at this point, though, I can just freely go for the HPS and take this thing out. Um, if I can take out that Togekiss, then I won't need this Thunderous anymore. That Thunderous has to stay for that Togekiss. I mean, I can do damage to it with Mew's Volt Switch, but not enough to be satisfied with the damage. So, um, I'm going to Volt Switch out. I'm actually going to sack Mew here. Um, to get a clean switch into Lando. Ancient Power. Ancient, that's okay. I guess I'm not gonna sack Mew here. Um, and he's actually gonna forfeit. Okay, so that was that was the game. I could have pretty much swept up there at the end. Um, I think I had rocks up already, didn't I? I might not have had him up anymore. I thought, I'm pretty sure I had rocks up, which means that Titar couldn't set up sand again. So I was I would have been able to outspeed everything with Mew anyway, and just Earth Power his extra drill. So that that was gonna be my game at either way. If rocks were up, it just means it just means I had to deal with extra drill for a little bit. And he's probably banded or life orb if his life orb wouldn't do too much anyway. So yeah, that was you know that was the game. Um, time for the next game.